Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And it is spooky season! It is October, and we are playing with the Witch's Tarot, which, yes, is a very witchy, very spooky, very October deck. It is also a deck I've had in my collection for a very long time. I honestly don't remember where I got this deck. I know I got it when I was still living in New York, so we're talking like 20 plus years I've had this deck. Uh, and I have used it in the past to do readings, so if you are interested in doing readings during spooky season, that is totally available. I am booking up very fast already, but that is a thing. And I will read them for you. Be aware that they are very photorealistic for some of these images, and there is nudity. I have taken the nakedity, nakedity cards out of this deck for the purposes of not getting turned off of YouTube and Facebook and other social medias. So, yeah, I'm sticking with the more uh, prudish of the cards, I guess. So without further ado, let's see what card we have for today. Oh, all right. Okay, I have a couple comments and complaints and also some positive things on this one. So because I've had this deck a really long time, I've kind of looked at most of them. And some of the cards that, for me, come up pretty frequently, I have a pretty good handle on them. Whereas others, I'm like, oh, I don't see that card real often, or maybe I, I haven't played this deck in like five, six years. So this one, I will say, has come up for me before, especially since I kind of have a, I lean into the cups suit. That's kind of my suit. I really like it. So this one is the nine of cups. It is relatively easy to tell which uh, suit this is because the back of the cards that this uh, woman is reading from all have goblets on them. So we do have, it is cups. It is clearly represented that that is the suit. And now I'm gonna complain because the nine on here is in a very light color. And in some cases where the letters meet the card that she has on the table, you can't even see it, see it anymore. So if it had been moved up even a little bit more, it would have disappeared on one of these cards. So. I'm not a super fan that they stuck with a light color. I feel like they could have done this in black just as easily and made it a little easier to see the words on here because otherwise you just have to rely on the fact that yes, it does do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know that there are nine cups and it probably is the nine of cups. Now, another really super cool thing about this is that the card reader, psychic, whatever she may be, who's sitting behind the table is wearing a blue robe or a blue tunic. And blue represents water, cups are water. And so I really like that she is wearing the color appropriate to the element that cups represent. She is also someone who is lighter haired and lighter eyes, which is typical of somebody who has the characteristics of the cups. So I kind of like that too. Again, it is not always true that somebody who has a lot of uh, water energy and cups energy has light hair and light eyes. They could be totally not that and still have all the characteristics, but that's going into how this suit kind of embodies that look or that energy. So she has her blue tunic on and she's blonde haired and she's got her cups listed out in front of her, but you don't see what is on the other side of the card. And this is the part I really like about the meaning of the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is a card of emotions and your personal emotions and still kind of keeping them in the background. So this is not a wearing your heart on your sleeve sort of card. This is a little bit guarded when it comes to emotions and how you're feeling. So the fact that she holds all the cards, but she's not showing her hand, that is very much like a good play on words in the sense of she has her emotions, but she's very guarded about it and she's keeping it kind of out of sight. She may know what the cards have, but you don't yet. Or maybe she doesn't even really know yet. She's going to turn these cards over and it's going to be as much a surprise for her as it is for you. Either way, it's a guarding of that information. It's a guarding of those emotions. So somebody who has 
guarded emotions or is going through a time where they may be like putting up some walls emotionally, this card will likely come up. It is a card of a lot of pride as well. So again, she's kind of got this smug sort of look, which if you look at more traditional Nine of Cups too, the character there usually does kind of have his arms crossed and he's got this smug sort of look on his face. And yes, it's a detail that you may have to really look closely at on some cards, but I love the smug expression or the kind of, I don't know, it is kind of a guarded expression. It's like, mm, I don't think I'm going to tell you how I really feel about things. I don't think I'm really going to go into that. I need to guard my emotions. I don't know you that well yet. So that's the energy that her facial expression is giving as well. And I really like that part. I'm trying to see... She does not have any cups on the back wall. I'm just checking. It's been a while since I've looked at these cards. So I really enjoy that aspect too, that they take into consideration the expression on the character's face. Because yes, it is guarded. It is kind of like, I know how I feel, but you don't need to know how I feel. And I may know something about you as well, but I may not share it with you in the same way. It's not quite a mean girl sort of energy coming off of her, but a little bit. So all of those things are represented in her facial expression, in her posture, and the fact that the cards are still turned face down. So it's not a bunch of cups cards that are turned face up with the numbers on them and revealed. She is not revealing those things. She is not sharing. So again, it's a card of keeping that energy to yourself, maybe being a little bit guarded, and maybe being a little smug about the fact that you're like, no, I know how I feel about this, but you don't need to know how I feel about this. I'm not sharing. I like all of those aspects of this card. The only thing I really don't like is that the word down here that says nine is kind of unclear. Obviously, you can count the cards on the table and count the cups that are represented, and you get a very clear picture of which card this is. That said, I still like to have that crutch for beginning readers, people who are just getting into a cards, or just people who you've never seen this deck before. You're not sure yet which card this is. You haven't studied it. I like it when it's kind of cut and dry and pretty clear. This is more cut and dry than other cards we've read, though. Let's be real. So either way, that is our Nine of Cups, and I hope you enjoyed that card and all of these cards as much as I am going to this month. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay spooky. Bye!